What is up everybody, this is Waze back with the next video of JavaScript Essential Training Series. In the last video we looked at the function, but I actually showed you the function, how function work. In this video I'm going to give you an example how you can make functions for your HTML document. Obviously we're going to use JavaScript for web development, so why not take a look at an example? Because you probably learned JavaScript and you don't have any idea where to use JavaScript. So that's what I had when I was learning in a new language. Uh, I was always had a problem like, you know, I'm writing a console programs, but that don't represent the actual application. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick example that how you can use functions and how to use them from HTML document. Now we have this uh, HTML document here. First of all, we are going to create a form. So let's start with the form tag. I'm going to close this form tag right away. Now in the form, we need three fields and one button. So now let's make those. We are actually creating an application which will calculate an area for us. Now let's uh, type width. I'm going to break the line. Use the br. Let's go to enter input type. Would we'll say number, and then id. So id we call it weight again. So I'm just gonna make sure I've got lowercase letters so I don't get confused later on. So weight. Yep, that's right. And then we can create a height field such so eight. Let's just use break point and then let's go to the next line. Start an input tag, type would be number again, and then ID would be height. And then we need a button. So we create, we just break the line first, and then we go and start our input tag. And I'm going to type type button. And then we need to use an HTML uh, event. So there are so many events. Uh, you probably look at the documentation. I will show you in a second where I'm getting this from. But there's a event on click. And then we need to call calc function. And then here we add a parenthesis as well. So whenever we click this button, we need to call this function from JavaScript, whatever we attach there. So that's done. Now maybe it's set the value for the button, the text we will see on the button. So let's just type value and let's just say get area. So we got a button done. Now we need another. I'm not going to break a line. I'm going to just type the answer next to the button. So we need another form field. So let's just start our input tag. And then we can just so type type would be just say text. It's not a number, so text ID, let's just say answer, and uh, we can set the size as well. So size, let me just set 8 pixel, and then let's just close this. Let's save the file, and we're going to check that in the browser. So, so far, that's what we have. Okay, so we have a uh, width, height, height should be in the next line. So we need to have here a br, okay? And then go to the next line. Okay, should be fine now. It's taking back, so let's see. Okay, should be fine. And now we need to bring that down. So let's just break line one more time here and let's just see now it's fine the phone is fine width height so we can put number here put number here and then we click on the get area which is giving us zero for now because there's no javascript function so our form is ready now let's go and create a javascript function let's go to script js and we start with the keyword function F U N C function and we'll just name it calc and then add parentheses, add a code block there. 
So, in the function, what we need? We need a height and a width, and then we will multiply those to get an area, right? That's the equation to calculate area. How do we get the width and height from the form field, which is in HTML? So, we will just create a new variable, var, and I'm going to name it width, and then just uh, type w for the width. It's equal to, now we need to use uh, another function which is built into javascript library which is document dot get element by id okay and then add parentheses here add a quotation and then now we need to type the id for over uh, this document so let's just go back and check what we id so it's a width so i'm going to just copy this from here and then i'm going to paste it here and then i'm going to type here value okay i just want to get the value of that so whatever we type on the form field we need to access that by get element by id and dot value means we're getting the value from the form field and we need to do the same thing with the height so let's set var edge is equal to document dot get element by id and then we type the h e i g h t which is the id and let's just type a value let's save the file I'm gonna check this ID is fine, H E I G H T fine. And now we just multiply these as well. So we got these two values. Now we can create another variable area is equal to W multiplied by H. Okay, now we stored the answer in the area variable, right? Now let's go to our page. I'm going to refresh it. And let's just see if we can type 5 and 5 here and click on get area. As you can see, it's nothing happening. We need to set the answer of value onto this one, right? So let's just go to form field. It doesn't look nice there, so I'm going to make it 6 pixels. And in here, we can just set the area value to that next form field. Let's check the ID. That's answer for this form field. So let's just copy that and then we're going to type here document dot get element by ID and then here I want to type answer which is an ID and then dot value is equal to and we can just set it to area. Let's save the file and now let's look at it. I'm going to refresh the page and when I click on get area and there you go so we are getting of two values from two form fields and we're getting up we're pressing a button we're using on click event and uh, we're setting the value the answer to this form field so this is a quick example how you can use JavaScript functions I mean overall JavaScript is very strong language like you represent things in HTML and you get data from HTML forms you process them in JavaScript and return the answer to your HTML form. Let me show you the documentation. You're probably very brand new to programming and you have never worked in any other programming, so in any other programming language. So let me show you where these things are coming from. Like I don't remember these things. Whenever I need them, I will just go online and look for them to be honest. You can't memorize like everything, right? So let's search for something like HTML or maybe JavaScript reference. Okay, and so we need to search in Google. And uh, the first one, the best uh, reference is uh, Mozilla uh, Developer Network. So we click on that. And so every time you need anything, you come to Mozilla uh, Developer this document and then you can look for a few things so such as we looked at functions right and we have the definitions error functions and all that stuff so whatever I'm using I'm getting from here okay so you make sure that you want to increase your uh, learning by looking at the reference and learning few things because I've only shown you how to use functions but you need to search yourself and study yourself to get better with it, to find out more functions about JavaScript or maybe HTML. So let's just say HTML DOM, okay? We search for HTML DOM 
and the first reference guide we get is to W3 Schools, which is a another great, great resource for uh, JavaScript and uh, HTML and CSS. So here we can find like JavaScript JavaScript objects and JavaScript references, such as I use this uh, dot value method. Where did I get from? I get it from the reference. So you study yourself, get better with JavaScript. And uh, yeah, I will be showing you a few more tips and tricks, such as creating animations in JavaScript. We will create a full-fledged application in JavaScript by the end of this video series. And like, like you know, you see all those uh, amazing-looking websites, such as a menu popping out. You know, the m images moving, all those animations, even JavaScript games. We will learn how to develop all those things in this course, uh, but step by step. So we're still working on a core JavaScript. Once I'm done with the core JavaScript, and then we will start with the project-based tutorials. So stay tuned guys and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and make sure you join our Facebook group and like my Facebook page. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.